through. In this episode of Tokyo Joyride, we take a stroll through the Imperial Hotel, a visit to Tokyo's memorial to unborn children, and a Tokyo Tower upskirt. All that and a whole bunch more hijinks. Hop, Hop on! on! Let's put our living stereo stylus in this room. Are you ready for a joyride? What an amazing day. It's February 4th, and it's 19 degrees, people. With a C, not an F. Look, there's people with short sleeve shirts over here. It's amazing. We're out for a little joy ride. Right now we're in Otemachi. Imperial Palace is right over here on our right. And it appears, I see a German flag here hanging from the posts. So there must be, uh, maybe Merkel is in town. Or some other dignitary from Germany. Welcome! I don't know how to say welcome in German. Welcome? No. Doesn't sound right either. Straight ahead is Tokyo Station. Get ahead, Tokyo Station. Lots of construction going on around here. You can see cranes everywhere. Here, right over here is Tokyo Station, newly renovated. It's like spring has sprung and it's only February. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Why does everybody give global warming a bad name? Whew! I could sure use a cold drink. Well, what a coincidence! Advertising is evil. I don't even drink pop. Coca-Cola plus coffee. Oh man, it's got a creamy coffee flavor. Very interesting. Let's get back to the ride. Oh, this guy with the top hat. Good day, governor. He's the uh, doorman. So this is still part of the moat around the palace over here on the right. We make this light. On the left is the Peninsula Hotel. It's pretty swank. There's a bar inside the Peninsula Hotel that's also quite swank. It's called Peter. Just tell him I sent you. Discount drinks all night. That's worth a try. Let's pop in here for a second. This is the Imperial Hotel. Oh, what's that? Wow, look at the flowers. The original one was built, actually not the original, but one of them was built in 1922 and designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. And sadly, they, they replaced it with this one in 1967, 1970 actually, it, it tore it down and they rebuilt the existing one now. But the original one from, the from 1922 to 67 was a Frank Lloyd Wright building. Sadly, that's gone. But it's still a very elegant five-star hotel right across from Hibia Park. A nice selection of cigars in here, if that's your thing. I love the smell of cigars until they're lit. Look at that Monte Cristo from Cuba. 
This diner's okay, it's a bit overpriced. Parkside diner. Downstairs is where the, the shopping kicks into high gear. Some really spendy stuff here. Handbags, jewels. These are cool. The press. Wow. Look at how elegant and spacious this phone booth is. Handbag shop. This one is 4,320,000 yen. I'm assuming that's crocodile or alligator skin. That is about $40,000 right there. This one's about $12,000 for the living room. Look at this beautiful little stagecoach. Stagecoaches are your thing. This is colorful. Mm -hmm. It feels comfortable. It looks like. Is that girl just blow drying a wig? Did you guys see that? Ink work of Mount Fuji. It's six million yen. Getting dizzy. This would be the place to come to get a shave. Yeah. Shaves are 3,500 yen. I'm totally gonna do this. Not right now, but we're coming back. We're coming back. Cool. Oh, that's so retro. Awesome. Dombat boy color. Sweet. This is fun, window shopping. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh man. We gotta pop in here for a second. Good job. Meet the movie, this guy. Come in, Masha. Okay, we'll get him, Masha. That is some nice. All right, can't put your camera in there. No surprise, but. So, what'd you think of the hotel? Pretty cool, huh? Very retro. We will definitely be making another trip to that barber. So yeah, it's kind of a shame that the Imperial Hotel was torn down and rebuilt. I mean, who would tear down a Frank Lloyd Wright architectural masterpiece? Okay, so we're on Hibiya Dori. This is Hibiya Dori. We're on our way towards Shiba Koen. You can see this sign up here. Take a look. Straight ahead is Shiba Koen. So right here on our right is, this is Zojoji Temple. There's a really interesting display of these Jizo statues. And they are a tribute to all children who died very early on in life or just didn't even make it into life. But it's really a beautiful little serene spot that's worth checking out. This segment of the program is sponsored by Prime Meat. Try our Safari to Barbie package. You'll sample some of the most exotic, endangered, and bush meat you've ever sunk your chompers into. Give us a call at 1-800-LET'S-MEAT. That's 1-800-LET'S-M-E-A-T. There's Zojoji over here on the left. I think we'll be able to see some of these Jizo statues right here. Yeah, you can see them over here on the left. They have pinwheels blowing in the wind. It's a really beautiful little spot. And take a look over there. So yeah, all along here are the statues. Yeah. 
Look up ahead. I think you all know that. That needs no introduction. Yeah, here's, you can see a lot of them up here. See them all up there. That beast needs no introduction, but I'm going to say it anyways. Sky tree. Just testing it. You know what? We're going to get off the bike. We're going to walk it. You can do that in Japan. You can do this. This is legal. Prince Hotel over here on the right. And Tokyo Tower. Look at these cone heads. <laughs> so I am the voice of the English tour guide here at Tokyo Tower. So if you come to, J to Japan, you come to Tokyo, you go into the Tokyo Tower, the top deck tour, Peter Von Gom is your voice. So by all means, give that a shot. It's a really interesting tour. It goes all around the top deck. The very top is the highest point you can go as a civilian and you can, uh, you have the audio guide and it's automated and it will give you information about the view that you're looking at. All right, let's turn this back around. So it appears that they're preparing to maybe repaint it. It's covered in blue. Uh, netting and this bunch of scaffolding and stuff up there so I think they're they're uh, refreshing it before the Olympics which is probably a smart idea this uh, top deck tour started because they renovated the top deck it hadn't been changed since it was built so it was a big uh, big project and I'm proud to be a part of it, it turned out really nicely Right, we're gonna head up here to the left. When the weather's nice, this is a fantastic restaurant over here on the right. It's kind of uh, concealed. But it's really good food. You can sit outside. It's kind of romantic. Look at that stretch. Woo. Stretch GMC, it's kind of tacky. I would like to thank you all for uh, being a part of this ride today. Hope you enjoyed the Imperial Hotel and this wonderful weather that we're having. It's been my pleasure. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. Share with your friends. If you think somebody will like these videos, these 360 4K videos that we're producing on the streets of Tokyo. Please share them with your social media friends. It's a great way for us to build this channel and we need your help. Take care, ride carefully, and I'll do the same. If you wanna go